Hello, is your boy my lord shorts? <laughs> it's been four years hmm? or three years since I dropped um something on my YouTube channel. I'm back for good. So I posted this image on my Instagram and I posted a reel showing the before and the after. And I said if you would want to, you know, know how I pulled out this edit from this image that you should comment magic that I'm gonna send you a link so in that light I'm gonna work on this image so you you can actually see how I put out the edit without any further ado let's get started okay this is the before and this is the after I'm gonna hide this layer Let's start by doing a very quick retouch, very quick retouch, not something serious. So I'm going to open this uh, retouch academy, hit on custom, it's going to run. I use the default radius 1.2, I'm going to hit OK and then hit OK again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this, click on the correcting tone and then yes, hide my high frequency layer pick up my mixer brush so this is my setting 24 75 22 29 actually the mix um, and the load doesn't really matter what matters is actually the wetness and the flow so um, you can actually use a, a random figure for the two so or you can use um, some people use 30 30 30 across all um, everything but it all depends this is my setting this is what i i normally use it works for me most times i use um i i try different things you know to see what really works and it all depends whatever thing that is working for you just go ahead and do it remember to turn on your sample all layers i'm going to zoom in remember the uh, height texture is turned off so I'm going to zoom in and um, make my foreground color white, mixer brush, everything custom, this transparent, this has to be transparent. It has to be transparent, it has to be looking like this. Opacity flow, everything check, 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 double check. So I'm going to start my edit f very fast on it. I'm going to mix evenly. I wouldn't be wasting so much time doing retouching because this is not actually a retouching video and also this is not a portrait image this is um this is for all i know this is this is a um kind of a wide full body shot it was taken with um canon 16 to 35 mm the canon um, 16 to 35 mm I think uh, I think it was shot at uh, at 16 mm for for me to be able to get uh, the wideness of this um, you know of the view. I'm gonna do what I came here to do, which is retouching, and I'm done. Like I said, it's not a retouching video, and everything has to be very f um, you know quick. So I'm done there's nothing to retouch there's just um little you know touch up here and there so what next i'll make sure that this uh, i'm cropping for instagram yeah which is what i'm doing i'm cropping for ig already so this is four by five and that's it now let me adjust this a bit i'll hit okay okay it's done Control zero to you know have my field view the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select subject so let's go to select um before then i'm going to create a stamp visible layer Control shift alternate e to create a stamp visible layer sometimes when you click on Control shift alternate e and nothing happens what you're going to do is let me turn this off go go to this place create an empty layer and then hit Control shift alternate a and something is going to happen definitely so i'll delete one because i just need one what next i'm going to um 
select select subject not really a bad selection let's zoom in and see um not really bad not really bad um let's use the lasso tool to make um some few adjustments I'm done with the selection I'm done with the selection so I'm gonna go ahead and feather it out I think one is okay by me uh, and I'm gonna create a mask I'm, cre uh, I'm gonna create a mask so I'll double click to enter the mask properties um, so I can actually refine the mask a bit you know I think um, my previous setting my previous settings are um, this is a refined edge brush I want to um, I want to make this um, you know kind of look transparent so I want to select inside the veil because it's actually transparent is a is is actually um, a kind of a net material so um, I'm gonna select in between i'm not going to select everything just you know um a little portion of it a little portion of it that's what i'm gonna do what next i don't know i think i'm done okay um, i love this setting i love this setting so you can see smoothness um smooth is seven feather 1.9 contrast 11 shifts age minus 10 this is my go to go setting for um um select and mask it's is actually very good for me it's it works very well for me so i'll hit okay but let's start bringing in the magic let me see what i let's see what i did here okay um what do we bring in first <clears throat> okay let's bring in the let's bring in this the firework let's bring in the firework so i'm going to bring this in i'm going to bring this in make it um place it where i need it to be so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to create a curves adjustment layer clip it on this light then bring it down so it doesn't look too harsh so bringing it down now remember it's clipped here i'm going to control select the both of them make a group of it place it i think it's okay there it's okay if it's beneath um that layer so i'm going to create a mask a negative mask Control I to invert, then I'm going to paint. Take my brush, foreground color to review. So softly, I'm going to bring in this, bring in this. So this is going to be my side light effect. So, what next do I need to do? Um, I'm gonna need to pop up the colors of the couple so I'm gonna create curves adjustment layer push up the brightness a bit clip it on the couple Control I invert select my brush zoom in 
and then paint where I need the light to fall just on their faces and I'm okay with that so let me reduce this a bit I'm okay with it this way then the next thing I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna add um the fog now um the fog i'm going to try and make it as original as possible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to the pictures that i shot and look for the moment where i have fog so i think um let me open this i think um this picture is perfect so i'm going to bring this picture in photoshop I'm going to bring this picture into Photoshop. Once it's open, I'm going to open it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a selection of all these um, places. Duplicate go to my feather let me say let me use about 10 10 is okay then control j i'm going to move it to this place i'm going to bring it down to where i want it to be So I'm going to keep it somewhere here. I'm going to keep it somewhere here. Control J again to duplicate. Okay. There's no need to flip. So I'm going to keep it here. Somewhere here. Now I'm going to feather. I'll select the top layer, get my brush, zoom in, make sure my foreground color is black, take away the excess from here. Now I'm going to make a group of both of them, Control G, create a mask. Now I'll reduce my flow let me take it away i just want to create a subtle look of the fog so as you can see this is the before this is the after it's looking before after let's take the excess away from here the opacity is low so i think that's why i'm not feeling whatever thing i'm doing there so yeah that's it now let me reduce my flow bring this so um i now have um a kind of um realistic fog here now what what the next thing i can do is i can decide to um you know add some a little bit of drama so let me check I want to add a um, cloud, a cloud to this image. Let me go to my stock images and then I'll come here. Let me get a, a cloud effect. So I'll open this, open this, then I'll go to I love number three. So I'll drag number three and drop it into this image. I'll turn, I'll turn it the other way, you know, um, fog they kind of look like clouds you know 
it's it's also going to make sense if if you're improvising so i think i'll have to keep it beneath i have to um keep it beneath um this layer mm, okay let me keep it here now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to push up the brightness of the cloud layer then clip it create a clipping mask so it only affects this i'm going to have my brush create a mask make sure that the foreground color is black so i'll clean off the excess from here I'll clean off the SS from here. So uh, as you can see, is looking pretty good. So this is the smoke. Now I added the cloud. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to blow it out a bit. Blow Gaussian blow. Not too much. So I'm going to leave it like this. Now we have um, some drama going on here. You can reduce the opacity if you want to reduce the opacity. So, but you just have to leave some, you know, kind of texture here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this cloud layer because um, I want the background to have a kind of foggy look. So I'm going to control J group control um g you know select let me go back to that select the both of them control g to make a group of of the both of them then control j to duplicate then control e to make it a layer so this is it then bring this beneath the model the couple push it up a bit push it up a bit so i just want it to have um you know some kind of hazy look so i'm going to blow it out convert to smart object i'll go to blow gaussian blow So I now have um and I have some kind of you know hazy look there. So as you can see it's looking hazy. So that's the before that's the after. The before and the after. So what's next? The next thing I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna um color grade. I'm going to color grade this image now whatever if you feel like the effect is too much you can always you know reduce the opacity opacity is your friend whatever you feel like an effect is too much on something you can always reduce the opacity if you want to so opacity is your friend these are um, the cloud I'm going to name this cloud group cloud group so I don't make mistakes okay this is cloud group now this is um the fog group fog group because i uh, this is the original fog i got from the other image so this is the fog group if i still want to show some details i can actually um control t drag this down a bit so i can get some details here i can actually drag this ctrl t drag this down a bit you know so
now um i want to add um a little bit of um i want to add a little bit of effect on i want to add a little bit of effect on 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 the fog so i'll create an empty layer go to my brush i can actually use the brush you know to add some little bit of effects here here bring this down here so i reduce it <laughs> then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to add i'm going to add the uh, extra light that i added on the other image you bring it in place it somewhere here change the blend mode to screen change it then keep it here Control J. You can drop this here. Control J again. Keep this here. Control J. Here. So you go into what you're going to do, you're going to drag this and make sure that it's under the cloud layer all of them keep it under the fog layer all of them keep them under the fog layer you can go ahead and duplicate them you know you can try to put them somewhere here you can duplicate you can try to put um another one maybe behind um the couple somewhere there you know to add a little bit of drama so um that is pretty much it that is pretty much it <coughs> now we move over to color grading I, you, you can make a group of all of these and then name it fireworks okay can make a group of it and name it fireworks so let's compare this to our um, first original edit let's compare this with our original edit you can name this um Sparta uh, sparkles, you know, sparkles. This is um, these sparkles off on. Uh, you can see them here, so I don't want you to get confused. What I'm gonna do is I'm uh, we've, we've not really done so much, we've really not done so much. I'm gonna name this group light. Light. So, so you don't get confused. Let's turn off our layers and see the other edits. Let's see. So. You see we have um, pretty much the same thing the only thing that is missing here is the color grading the color grading so which we are going to do soonest so that's what is missing here the color grading is what is missing so we're going to do the color grading soonest let me turn back the original edit okay so this is our current edit what else do we need to add 
what else do we need to add um let's add some vignette effect you know i just want to cover up for some of these things here mm. okay let's add a bit of um shadows control i i'll paint in i'll use a soft round brush remember the soft round brush and then paint into the side now what do we have here let's do the color grading we have two options is either we do the color grading in camera raw or we do the color grading here using the adjustment layers and you know if you're going to be doing the color grading in camera raw it means you have to create a stamp visible layer and you can't be able to go back to your edit so to stay um to stay on the right side let's first of all do our color grading here i have a color lookup that i i probably might want to use but let's build from scratch okay <coughs> so i'll create a solid color i'll create an adjustment layer go to channel mixer I'll bring down the blue a bit okay then push the green up a bit so the red is okay the red is okay but let me push up the red a bit maybe 101 101 okay so push down the uh, blue to minus 18 yeah minus 18 is pretty okay now this is the before this is the after before after let's go to selective colors selective colors let's add some pop to the skin so i'm going to target i'm going to target um i'm going to target the reds and the the red and the yellow so let's start from the yellow let's start from the yellow um channel let's target the skin tone and make it pop so I'm, i'll come here push this up all the way up here minus 42 now you can see it automatically brightens their skin it automatically brightens their skin pushing this up brighten the skin automatically for you not to lose the details you just have to come here push towards the yellow then push the yellow towards red increase the reds in the yellow increase the magenta in the yellow then you come to the red channel push up add some red increase the red when you're reducing the cyan when you're reducing the cyan you're actually adding red so rgb cmy red is the opposite of cyan so if this is a red channel and this is cyan it means if you're reducing the cyan it automatically means that you're adding red if you're pushing this way you're adding cyan so i'll add some red by reducing the cyan pop the color by adding a, a reasonable amount of yellow here then pop the overall skin by increasing this slider so we've really done a whole lot here now this is selective color before after this is channel mixer before and after now the next thing we're going to do is 
we're going to add some colors to the black so let's go to the black we'll push the black towards the cyan we'll push the black towards the cyan and towards the blue now you see we now have a kind of blue tint on the black which makes it very very beautiful now let's compare this edit with the other one in terms of color i know pretty much i'm not going to be doing the exact same thing i did here but you know there's got to be um you know some changes but let's see let's compare so this is the the other edits this is the other edit this is the old edit this is the new edit old edit new edit old edit new edit so um they look pretty much the same <coughs> let me recap let's recap and see how we we you know let's let me name this first um recent edit recent edit this is um first edit so let's hide this let's just have our recent edit so if i'm if i'm to recap let's see what we've done so far we started by doing a frequency separation then after frequency separation we selected our subject by doing by creating a stamp visible layer control shift alternate e and then clicking on the mask button to do to to get this i entered the mask property and did my um refining in there after that i created a curves adjustment layer to add some you know depth to add some contrast then i created a levels adjustment layer which is not um you know really doing much because i just wanted to feather to darken uh this area that was the reason i created this now this is the light effects the light effects that i that i pulled out from um um from one of the stock images i used now i feel like this light effect is actually blocking the beauty of this place so i'm going to um select my brush and you know paint out this extra area so i can actually get the you know the yellow tone coming from the ambient light then the after that <coughs> i added my i added my you know um the lights the firework i added my fireworks after that i added my fireworks then added um <coughs> this is the smoke this is a fog uh this is a fog layer that i added and then blurred it out to you know create some form of um smoke around so let me name it fog blood so this is the fog layer that i blurred out then what what do we have here this is um fireworks this is the fireworks so that's um pretty much it everything that we have under this under our layer mask <coughs> that's pretty much everything that we have under this layer mask this um remember the reason i have um this first layer mask was because of the fact that i had to enter um i entered um my uh, select and mask 
and then I had putted it with new layer. So this layer mask is not necessary. I can actually delete it because this is this. Now watch. Let me let me undelete. This is a copy of this. So the both of them are pretty much doing the same thing. This is the enhanced selection coming from my select and mask. So I'm going to delete this. I just need this alone. The fireworks that I added, the cloud, the cloud layer, the fog. This should be blurred. Okay, fog group. This is, this is um fog group, not growth. I don't know what I wrote there. And then this is um the color grading, the channel mixer, the selective color, the selective color, the color balance. So <coughs> that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You know, you just have to stick around for our next one. I'm definitely gonna be you know bringing new tutorials i'm back i'm i'm really back for good so i'm I'm definitely gonna be bringing new tutorials your way so you stick around and I'll see you on the next one if you have a question you can actually ask in the comment section I'll be there to attend to you if you want to book a one on one class with me you can actually book a one on one class with me but it comes um at a different rate it comes at the rate but uh for now i'll be dropping free um tutorials for you guys so you guys can actually you know check out and have a um you know have something uh you know to work with at least um, i'm gonna be doing much of my style so you you stick around and make sure that you you you're tuned on to this channel you call your friends to subscribe to our channel they're going to be learning a lot from here okay turn on the bell notification and that's pretty much it nothing left so you can ask your question remember to subscribe you can actually follow my instagram and tell me pictures you would want me to work on okay that's it Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. I'll see you guys on the next one.